say I'm going Pentecostal. I will jump over the benches. So if you're not careful, I'll jump on you. Amen? I know the Americans may not be understanding me. But the Jamaicans over there I speak English. Amen? Because there's some real Americans back there. International evangelist, evangelist Connie Robertson, my mother, praise God to come and pray for us. At this time, if you will be upstanding, amen. She's going to be praying or holding prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pray like that, you never pray One more time, God, here we are, your children who approach your mercy. See God, we hear your hands and cry out. Mighty God, today as we come, Lord God, we are nothing on our own, God. But today, God, as we come, we pray, God, that you will fill us up one more time. Yes, we pray, God, that you will wash us one more time, yes. mercy God. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will cleanse us one more time. We are in your presence. And if we're dirty and messy, we cannot stay in your presence, God. So we pray, God, that you will work through us today, God. Clean us up for worship, because we come for no other reason, God, but to worship you, to seek your face, God. God, we want you, we need you more than
Thank you.
may be seated in the awesome presence of the Holy God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Glory. He abides. He abides. He abides. Let us see. That's how we saw that in you. Evangelist Shantoy Douglas, put your hands together and make her welcome in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. I said, Praise the Lord, everybody. I want us to show God the same love we do when we win or when we accomplish something in life because God is the first accomplishment. So have God and or nothing. So when I say praise the Lord, I need you guys to say praise the Lord. I want to welcome you all to our prayer breakfast and I am so excited to be here to be doing this under Word, Worship, and Warfare Deliverance Tabernacle under the leadership of my Apostle Crawford. I welcome you all. I am the youth leader of the youth in this ministry and I'm so thankful and so blessed to be alive and to be here today. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come on, put your look at Come on, put your hands together for my youth director. Amen. Praise God. Good to see our other youth director, Minister Thomas, over there. You know, good to say hello, Minister Thomas. God bless you. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. I am excited about today. Listen. Amen. Listen, some of you should be more energetic than we are. Because some of us have been up for almost 48 hours. Almost 48 hours. All night long. Two days straight. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. And we are excited. Amen. About today. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. That's another pastor. Amen. Praise God. I'm sorry. We're getting it together. All right. We're getting together. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah, man. We're getting together. Is that all right? And you all right? There's a service we need you, though. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. It is prayer breakfast indeed. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. And we are indeed here to have an awesome time in the presence of God. Amen. Are you excited? Amen. About the spiritual food that you're about to receive. Amen. God bless you, sir. Glory to God Almighty. Are you excited about the spiritual food that you're getting ready to receive? Ah. All right. Are you excited about the natural food you're about to eat? Ah. Oh, it's just too much. So more for the spiritual food. Well, me happy for the two of them. Oh, I said we're happy for both. <laughs> See, the, the Americans are here, so we have to take care of them. Amen. We, we, we are, we're happy for both. Amen. Can somebody give God glory? All right, all right. All right, remember, I am the noisy, but remember, I make a lot of noise. All right. All right. Better, you know that, right? You know that, right, Bishop? You know that, right? Amen. You know that, right? I'm, I'm a noisy boy. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. And in a little while, we're going to be introducing the men and women of God that's in the house. Amen. And we're going to have them greet us in a little while. Amen. But somebody told me sometime back that they're coming to prayer breakfast, not prayer lunch or prayer dinner. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen. So we are going to definitely have our breakfast. Amen. The servers are going to serve you some fruits. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. And we're going to have a good time in the presence of God. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't worry, our speaker is in the country, and I'm sure he is coming. Huh? Amen. So don't worry, he's he's coming. 
Amen. And, and I, I'm sure you're going to get some food because it's already over there. <laughs> Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So at this time, I'm going to be inviting the Bethel Temple. One of my favorite church. That's where I go whilst we are still trying to get our building. Most of the time, that's where I'm at. Amen. So I'm going to be asking Bethel Temple to come at this time. Amen. And minister to our hearts in song in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Bethel Temple, God. In Jesus' name. Are there still coming? They can still clap. <laughs> Maybe not, I just don't know how silence works on me. Silence is just a sin. Don't feel about Bishop Chris, I mean Bishop um, Steel. Silence is just a sin. Silence, I've seen that man, so if you make noise. Come on, put your hands together one more time and make your comment. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Lift your hands.
Remember, prayer breakfast. Remember, prayer breakfast. All right, Bishop still be here. Was it prayer breakfast? Amen. Glory to God Almighty. We have joined the Jamaican group for the very first time. Amen. Out of the solid rock perfected prince. I meet, met these people in North Carolina. Amen. When I was living there. Amen. But they are in Connecticut. Connecticut. Amen. And they were joined by us by the bishop, the apostle's nephew, my very good friend and brother. Amen. Put your hands together and make you welcome. Let us see you. We have made welcome Elder um, Joshua. All right, that's all. Make welcome to our Elder Joshua. And he's just coming to bring us because he's got to run in a few minutes. Put your hands together. See if you understand it and make a music. So let him bring us. Praise the Lord, everybody. All that was kind of dry. Praise the Lord, everybody. When peace like a river, you know you see, attended my way. Thank <laughs> you. 
right there. Amen. He's a part of us. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. That we have one of our board directors. He's our external board director. Amen. But he pushes us. Amen. Listen, when I say he push, chief of us, I mean he push. If I say, I'm not going to do this, um, you say, oh, you're not doing it? Sometimes, I'm sorry, I have a father who pushed that down because sometimes I would just want to sit down. But then you got to take up one best friend. We are still same still. My best friend, Dr. J.D. Smith. <laughs> and you, you wonder why we call him doctor? Because he, he has his doctorate. Yes. So in the night, he was study for him. Huh? Yeah. So you have a purpose, don't you? Yes, sir. He's in education, so yes. Right, right, doctor, doctor, stop. Right, all right. So we have a few doctors. So we look at sick doctor them. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we have some visitors. We have Sister Ruth and her to be husband. I'm going to marry them. Yes, I am a marriage officer. If you all didn't know. Uh -huh. So I, I'm going to marry them up as a hunter. So we don't know where we're going to do it, but we're going to marry them. So we go and can dip him in the water now and get them right. No, so I go. How about them? You don't talk to me now? Uh -huh. And as much as we shout, we turn up on this step and dip them. Amen. And then we have, amen. Miss, Mrs. I can't remember if you're name now. We're going to marry her with you. She's not a party of this one. Me know as Miss Anderson. We are now. What your name again? <laughs> Mrs. Banton. Show them, show them your ring. Yes, that's Mrs. Banton. She just got married off. Amen. So she married off. Come on. You baptized when? Watch night. Huh? And she baptized this Sunday. Put your hands together for her. Yes, ma'am. The Lord will open it. Listen. We have the fans in the front and the back. Let's hear it. How can you ever tell me to say your name? Come on, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Look how many people see you. Back to this white dress. Amen. Glory to God. Many of you are here from our evangelists. You're not telling who the person is. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. So we are going to get ready to go to prayer. Listen. And not only bishops and pastors stand up of here, but bishop and pastor can help with video. The cameraman, Bishop Beckford, put your hands together for Bishop Beckford. And I'm going to be good at that. I'm going to be good at that. We are the chosen children. Connected to her. And 
I was going through and they said, the man, if you don't pay the school fee, you can't take a certificate. And she said, she I get back to business. And she said, listen, we come here together and we are left together with the certificate. the money to pay for your certificate until you start work. You give me a total strange of your work from now. She does see it yet. She does see it yet. But she has a heart of gold. She is my friend and you wait. Listen, I said to her, anywhere we go, you are come back on me. No, so if we go. When I was there, she met me at my knees sitting. She did not even know what I was going through. Listen, I couldn't even buy the book for school. And I chose not to tell my chief of muscle. I never shared it with mommy. I never shared it with her master. I never shared it with her muscle. I never shared it I shared it with nobody. And I stayed home and I fall and I fall and I cry. And I said, God, may I go through. She had her book. And every single evening, she handed me the book. I said, you read. Set 
reminds me of a man called Nehemiah. Do you see, Nehemiah was held captive, but in all of that, God still found favor in Nehemiah. And Nehemiah didn't forget his purpose, because Nehemiah's purpose was to build the wall. So even though he was held captive, God still found favor in him. Because the Bible reminds us that when the king saw the countenance on Nehemiah's face, he asked Nehemiah, what is happening? So today we are crying, but there's no tears, but God understands. Yes. Lord, plant my feet. Most righteous and heavenly Father, as we come before you this morning, nothing we bring but simple to the cross we pray. Knowing that we are your man servant, I place the, the husband and the wife in front of you this morning. Knowing that you are the remote to their lives at this time, God. If you press pause, then our life is pause. But right now, God, we are knocking on Shekinah glory. We are knocking on heaven's door right now for your intervention. Knowing that you are the shepherd and we are the sheep, God. Oh, Lord Almighty, we are asking right now to enter our chambers, God. Oh, Lord Almighty, we free the Holy Spirit. Oh, God, as David said, if you see any wicked ways, because we ask you to cleanse us right now, God. Oh, God Almighty, you see that we are living in the last world. The last days, God. Oh, God Almighty, we are living in a world of sin and shame. Oh, God Almighty, someone said that we are a part of the world, but not of the world. But God, right now, we are asking you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy. Oh, God Almighty, knowing that sometimes we slip up. Oh, God Almighty, knowing that there are times when our back is heavy laden and our strength is almost gone. But right now, God, we are asking you because we are not independent of you, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, there's a lot of things out there right now to, to reel us in. Oh, God Almighty, the devil is at, at, at a loose right now, setting up for the husbands and the wives, God. Oh, God Almighty, trying to destroy the relationship. Oh, God Almighty, you call your people to be a family right now, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, right now it's time for the church to stand up and do its purpose right now, God. Oh, God Almighty, because you sent us as a hospital for everybody right now, Jesus. So we are asking you, God, for your grace and your mercy. Oh, God Almighty, you did it for, for Noah, God. Oh, God Almighty, you did it for Esther, you did it for Moses. So you can do it for us one more time, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, right now we are asking you, God, for your grace. Because you may be a dangerous toilet steer, but oh, God Almighty, somebody say, I already come. Oh, God Almighty, I'll a few words of the right and I said, roll back the curtains, God. Our memories no one then, but show us where you brought us from, God, and where we could have been. Oh, God Almighty, we're only you, man. And we tend to forget Jesus, because we live in a world where there's a lot of vanity. Oh, God Almighty, we live in a world where there's a lot of things to lure your people in, God. But right now, God Almighty, you said what you put together, let no man put asunder. So right now we are praying, God, for all the husbands and the wives, God, whatever they're going through this time, God. Oh, God Almighty, we come against every spiritual wickedness in our low places. Oh, God Almighty, we come against the spirit of jealousy, God. Oh, God Almighty, we come against the spirit of poverty. Oh, God Almighty, sometimes the children, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, the children, sometimes they don't find work for the children. Oh, God Almighty, destroy the marriage that you put together, God. But right now, God, I'm asking you to intervene, God. God Almighty, whether they're saved or unsaved, I'm asking you to intervene, God. Oh, God Almighty, because nothing can be done without you, Jesus. You are the art and finish of our life, God. You are the reason why we're living today, God. You are the reason why we wake up with breath in our body at this time, Jesus. God Almighty, we ask you to take control. Lead and direct us, we give you thanks. Jesus name I pray. Hallelujah. 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 We have one prayer to go before breakfast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He
tabernacle as the Holy Ghost leads you. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Some of you have you open your mouth here from your tongue. Some of your mouth says it's open here as you come. And we are everybody to open up and sound in my mouth. Let the light be 
worship your God. We lift you up, Lord. Stay with me, do this, and we glorify you. We exalt your name. God, I'm nothing before you. My righteousness, so I fill up the rocks. But God, I pray even now that you will take a life call from on the altar and rest it upon me even now, God. And I come before you on the behalf, God, of this ministry. One that you have called out, one that you have selected, one that you have chosen. Mighty God of Daniel, if there is any sin inside of me, purge me with Esau. And I shall be clean. Wash me, God. And I shall be whiter than snow. Let nothing enter this prayer. Let nothing block this prayer. Let nothing, God, stop this prayer from coming up before you as a sweet spinning Savior. I pray, God, at this time, your words declare that upon this rock I'll build a church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God, as you call this ministry, but God, to blood thy hell and populate the earth. We pray for a blood mark upon this ministry. I pray, God, for blood to reach over the ministry. I decree and declare that no blood mark Shall be condemned. I pray for the pastor, the head of the church, the elder of the church, anoint him afresh, give him power, give him the anointing, give him function to function, let the power of God rest upon him like a dew in the morning. I pray God for the board, bring the board together and cover them under the blood. We pray God for the ministerial staff that Lord God they will come with the vision of the pastor and no division in the name of Jesus. I pray for the members that they will line them up and they shall be as one even as the Holy Ghost and the Father in the name of Jesus, I pray now that every time that they come to worship, miracle will happen. Every time that they come to praise you, souls will get sealed. Every time they meet together, the word of God, the undiluted word of God will be preached. In the name Somebody help me up in here In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare the prayer That they should not be stopped I declare the prayer That the blood of Jesus Will be upon them Cover the ministry Cover the ministry
they should hate us because of the truth because of holiness he never shut up I pray for this ministry. God, take them to higher grades, higher level, higher grades, higher level. And I declare, declare divine favor and open doors will be upon them. What I fail of action, fail of gratitude unto them. I thank you, God, for today. In Jesus' name. Say thank you, Jesus. Come on, declare it. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be part of our breakfast with a difference. So we're going to have the apostles pray. And the servers are going to work. And I ask permission that we can go ahead. Because we don't want to break and say eat and then to pick up back. Is that all right? So we're going to eat and we're going to pray at the same time. Is that all right? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So the service is going to work. They're trying to get the ministers out and then we're going to set the tables. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mercy.
I don't mean tomorrow, I don't mean next year, I mean now. That sight must come back. And I remember when he prayed and he prayed and I started to see and then my high side came back. And it reminded me of my tears. My God. The tears that I have to cry. And I remember last year when I got sick and my head, and you had to do a surgery on my head. I remember my tears again that I had to cry. So sometimes you just gotta cry. You just gotta cry. Tears are done that only God understands. When you cry, God hears your tears. But we're still standing. Somebody say, I'm still standing. No matter what, I'm still standing. So we're gonna stand and we're gonna pray. Heavenly Father, yes, God, yes. Jehovah God, there is none like you. There is none above you, there is none that is greater than you, and there is none that is higher than you today, God. So Father, we are in your presence, mighty God. And you know us by name, God, you know us by number. You know our direction, God, you know where we stand. So Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I put every mother, mighty God, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 